Hey Leo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a love reading for you. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel, my darlings. Very much appreciate it. Thank you to all my returning subscribers. All right, so let's see what is coming to you in love, Leo. Let me get four cards for Leo in love. Leo, you do have fertility. What's coming to Leo in love? So, Leo, you could definitely be, um, you could be uh, pregnant for some of you. Okay, other person you're connected to maybe. Okay, and fertility can also be indication of like some kind of new beginning or um, situation that has a lot of potential for growth. All right. Just coming to Leo in love. Leo, Leo, Leo. to Leo in love, Leo. Okay, so we do have holding back in a fresh start, Leo. Okay. Um, Old-fashioned. All right. Give me six cards for the sign of Leo in love. What is coming to them in love? What's coming to Leo in love, Leo. So, Leo, you have the Eight of Cups reverse. Hmm. What's coming to Leo in love, Leo, Leo? Uh, I do feel like. Perhaps somebody has walked away and could be returning here. Um, I also feel like there's this energy of still being emotionally attached to a situation. So you can find, you know, remember these general readings are interchangeable and vice versa. Okay. So you could be feeling this or the person you're connected to may be feeling this. Piscean, Pisces, yeah, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy is coming to Leo in love. But I feel like there's this uh, stubbornness in the situation. I feel like someone still has feelings for you, Leo. Um, someone who may have walked away. And of course, you may have been the one to walk away in the situation for X, Y, Z reason. Uh, but this person still has feelings for you. And it does feel like someone is still hopeful for a new beginning with you, Leo, or to have love with you. This may be somebody that you are married to or you're separated from. However you feel that resonates for you guys, I have really bad OCD. Please don't judge me. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's what we're seeing here. Taurus, Libra, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. It does feel like somebody wants to offer the other person love, a new beginning, But the hangman reverse, I feel like, is the problem along with the nine of wands. Somebody could be just really clung to their beliefs. You know, uh, they're having a hard time being, um, I guess, receptive or open to the situation. Of course, the hangman reverse could be some stubbornness here. Okay. But, you know, depending on whatever has transpired, it could be playing a major factor as to why someone's kind of fearful and doubtful about this connection. Because I feel like someone's, you know, they like, hey, I want to offer you love, you know, but the other person's like very afraid of it and um, having trouble like opening their heart, opening their mind to it even, you know, okay.
It does feel like someone misses you a lot, Leo. You have the Magician, the Five of Swords Reverse. You know, oftentimes the Hermit Reverse is like an ex, you know, looking to reconnect, looking to reconcile. Or someone who went MIA or whatever. Um, maybe someone needed some time to think, go through their own little introspection period, you know. But when they realize and they and they think about it and they, you know, they take in the time to really assess things, it feels like, yeah, someone definitely um, wants a fresh start in love, which is why Fresh Start came out. It all makes sense. Whether this is new or old for you, somebody wants to offer up genuine, pure, authentic love. That's the truth. Okay. That's what someone's offering here, but um, someone's like really afraid of it. <laughs> Tell me more. Let's come into Leo and love. I do apologize, guys. I have, um, what do they call it? Like allergic rhinitis or something. So I have it really, really bad, especially going into the late summer, fall time. So my apologies. I really cannot control it. Um, wow, Leo. Somebody really wants to love you, but someone's having trouble trusting this. Tell me more what's coming to Leo in this love situation. Someone's having trouble trusting this or seeing the other person differently. For those of you, if this person broke your heart or if you hurt them in any way, shape, or form, you know, um, that could be a, a contributing factor here as to why they're so scared. But the love can't be denied. The feelings between you and this person cannot be denied, period. You can't. You guys are soulmates. Uh, even if you don't believe it is a soulmate connection, you guys share a mutual connection. There's mutual attraction and love for each other here. But yes, I feel like someone's really afraid to get their heart broken either again or just there's this fear of just getting hurt overall. Um, there's a lot of trust issues in the situation. What's coming to Leo in love? A lot of trust issues. And you got the strength card and the world reverse. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I could be getting a cold. That could be what it is. Okay. But yeah, Leo. Um, someone's holding back a lot. Very frequently. If you haven't heard from them, that's what's going on with them. They're just afraid to trust. <laughs> They're afraid to get their heart broken. And it's like this is putting you guys in a really, really stagnant cycle. It's creating stagnancy for you guys, okay? So what is to happen here? It does feel like someone's going to try to come back into the connection and attempt to, attempt to offer the person love again, you know, and make an attempt. But um, I can't say someone's going to be totally receptive of that right now, okay? Because they're still clinging on and holding on to these fears of getting hurt by you or just being hurt, okay? What would you like Leo to know about the situation? Leo, please. What would you like Leo to know about the situation? All right, so this could definitely be twin flame connection. Okay, the divine feminine has been, uh, you know, indicated she has shown herself here with the Empress. You have a heartbreak. Release pain, healing in your heart. Rewrite your love story. I'm hearing something about someone like being used to being hurt or something. Um, and then this is what they naturally expect in the situation. Of course, it makes sense if someone, you know, if this person has a history of hurting you, Leo, it could be why you're so afraid to open your heart or if, you know, vice versa. But it's saying that you, you and this person could rewrite your love story. If so, there are opportunities to uh, reconcile love here for sure. So if you have someone in your life, Leo, you're wondering if they feel the same way about you, they do. If you're wondering if this person has genuine and pure intentions with you, um, they do. If you're hoping that things could be different this time around, they could. 
All right. Um, the first step is getting from behind that wall that's been built up. Mask is on. Things are not what they seem. All right. What do you want Leo to know? All right, Leo. So they do say that this is a divine union. Someone has surely caught feelings for the Leo. All right. Somebody is looking to make things official with you. All this person wants to do is love you. I'm hearing that song by Mario. You sure let me love you. Let me be the one to give you everything you want and need. <laughs> So you have contact within a, a week. Okay, this is a spiritual connection, it says. Let the past go. The number nine is very strong in the number three. It's telling you to it's telling someone that they need to let the past go. Okay. Um, and be vulnerable. All right. So, Leo, that is what I have for you, my darlings. I hope this reading gave you the clarity that you needed right now. Please like this video if you found it helpful. And also comment down below uh, your experience, your story here, okay? Because I love to read you guys' experience, okay? So, thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys soon.